Okay, uh, welcome to our Feed the Beast Bees tutorial. Uh, we're going to be going through the Bees mod pack, the extra Bees mod pack for Feed the Beast. Uh, we're going to be going right from the beginning to the end. We're going to try and do all of the Bees. And this is our first episode. This is going to be a series of videos, so please subscribe and follow us as we go through this. Uh, if you're like me, you've probably seen several of the other Feed the Beast Bees tutorials on YouTube and been frustrated, so I am going to make a comprehensive uh, walkthrough of how to do all of the bees and craft all of the items and how to use everything. So stick with us for episode one. In this episode we're going to be learning how to craft a scoop, which is a your, your very basic item for Feed the Beast Bees. After that, we're going to learn the different hives and how to identify them. And then we're actually going to go out in the world and find the bees. And one unique thing about this tutorial is I will not be doing this in creative mode. I will actually be doing the bees on survival mode. And nothing will be spawned into the world. It will ac actually be legitimate. So from here, we're going to exit the classroom and go out in the world and see if we can start crafting a scoop. So the first step to getting started with bees is you've got to make yourself a tool called a scoop. Scoop's a very easy thing to make. It's made with six sticks and one piece of wool. Uh, probably a good idea to make more than one. A scoop doesn't last very long. You can only get about, oh, I'd say six to eight uses out of a scoop. And the scoop is used to collect bees from hives. So once you have your scoop, first thing you need to do is to run out into the world and uh, find yourself some beehives. Now there are different beehives for different environments. Uh, right now we are in a beach environment. I happen to know that there is a beehive right around the corner here because I saw it on my way in. So we'll start off with this one. beehive I believe is marble bees uh, which I do I think actually spawn in almost all the biomes so you're gonna run into a lot of these so these are very common so using our scoop go ahead and hit the hive and we have ourselves a marbled princess so these are the marble bees now uh, you're gonna want to collect a princess and a drone for each species that you find in the world so I was a little unlucky that time I only got a marbled princess uh, gonna want to try and get uh, a princess and a drone and uh, when you break these hives you'll you'll get a princess sometimes you'll get a princess and a drone and sometimes you'll even get a, a comb along with it but really you want the princess and the drone Okay, and I can see another beehive over there in that direction. Looks like another hive with marbled bees. So let's go see if I can get myself a drone. And yeah, this is another marbled beehive. You see it's light with dark, light, dark. And that time I got a little lucky. I got I got a princess and a drone that time. So I'm all set with the marbled. Okay, I don't need to collect any more of these. Uh, they will actually regenerate themselves as soon as I start to breed them. So I'm all set with the marbled. Now I can move on to the next species. Aha! This here is a marshy hive. Hopefully I can get myself a princess and a drone. That's the first one I found. Nice. There's a marshy princess and drone. Alright, so as you can see I'm in a desert biome and I have found myself a yellow hive. If I'm not mistaken, this is the modest bee that you can find in the desert biome. A little lag going on there, sorry about that. And yes, uh, modest princess and drone.
Oh, nice. These are the jungle bees. I'm in the jungle biome right now. <laughs> Excuse the cows. And uh, this can be a particularly difficult bee's nest to find. Um, especially in the jungle, it's a, uh, it's a difficult biome to navigate. And uh, these hives are often up in the trees, which makes it difficult to see them. So I hope I get a uh, yes, and I got a, a princess and a drone, which is very convenient. Here's my tropical princess and drone. Great. Moving on. Okay, it took quite a bit of searching, but I think I finally found me a water hive. Now these are particularly difficult to see. Sometimes it helps to nerd pull up on shore edges to uh, try and find them. And actually on YouTube you probably can't even see it, but there is a dark patch right in the center of my screen where my crosshairs are. I'm going to take a wooden door and see if I can go down in there and, uh, and grab this. Now if you're not familiar with the wooden door technique, underwater if you place a door it creates an opening in the water so you can breathe. And if you can see here, I have myself a water hive. Now let's see if I can make this a little bit easier to see. Brightness. I turn the brightness way up. Yes, I know this is a bit cheating to have the brightness so high, but now you can see the hive. If I go out here, you can see it. Let's uh, grab my scoop and see what we can get. It looks like I just got a princess, and that was it. Darn it! I'm going to have to find me another one. Okay, it looks like I've found myself another water hive. I think I can see it right down there. I'll go down, place a door, and see what I got. Yeah, hopefully I can get a drone here. I've already got a princess. Yeah, looks like I got myself a princess and a drone. Nice. So water is all set. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, just walking along here, and it looks like I've come across a what I believe to be a wintry hive. Now let's see here. I am in a uh, taiga. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Biome. Well, let's see what we get here. Uh, yeah, looks like I've got myself some wintry bees. I got a wintry princess and a wintry drone and a frozen comb. Great. Uh, yeah, well, anywhere you see snow, you'll probably find those uh, wintry hives. Saw this one off in the distance looks to be a Meadows Beehive. Grab my scoop there and see what we get. Oh great, looks like I got them both here. Yeah, Meadows Princess and Drone. That's a, a nice one to have. This is what we're going to begin breeding with. Okay, just getting this place lit up a bit so I don't have a creeper sneak up on me. I found myself a Rock Hive. See what we get from this. Great! It's a rocky princess and a rocky drone. Uh, just a little tip, these guys are uh, going to be your bread and butter for breeding. Uh, when you run a quarry, you will get a ton of rocky princesses and drones. The, um, uh, the quarry picks up all the rocky princesses and, and rocky drones that you, you find throughout the world. Uh, down in the caves, but I wanted to find this one legitimately. Uh, if you don't know what a quarry is, I recommend that you turn off your computer and donate it to an inner city school because you don't know what the hell you're doing with that thing. 
Here we go. All right, we found ourselves a forest beehive here. This is easy to mistake for the marbled beehive or the wintry, except the marbled has uh, kind of a, a light gray stripe to it, whereas the wintry beehive has a bluish tinge to it. But this is white through and through, and uh, uh, yet yeah, we're in a pine forest biome, so there should be a, a forest, a forest uh, beehive. Let's see what kind of uh, bees we can get out of it. All right, that was pretty lucky. Looks like we got a uh, forest princess and a forest drone, and uh, we actually got a, a honeycomb out of it too, which means I now have five honeycombs, so I can make a uh, apiarist's chest. So let's uh. Let's go ahead and make one of those real quick here. Draw me down a crafting bench. All right, now the apiarist's chest is made with five honeycombs and one regular chest and one piece of glass. So if I just make myself a chest here real quick, got my five honeycombs. One piece of glass, and there it is, their apiarist's chest. Now, this is a handy little chest because it has so much capacity. When you open it up, you can see it's made for bees to be dropped into it. Um, the only difference uh, here is that I have these pages up here, so I have one through five. I have five pages of five by five. So this holds quite a capacity. It's a it's 125 stacks of bees you can put into here. Now it only holds bees, it doesn't hold anything else, so it can't be used for other, other items, but the, it's very useful for the bees. Um, but there's something else that is even more useful, and that is the apiarist backpack. For the apiarist backpack, I believe you need four string, two pieces of wool, uh, two sticks, and an apiarist chest in the center. I'm gonna grab some sticks here and see if I can make it. Some wool and a chest, and there's the apiarist backpack. This is a handy little item to have. Uh, one thing you'll notice about bees is that they don't stack well, and they take up a ton of your inventory space. So what you can do with the apiarist backpack is store your bees right in here. Now it's not taking up your inventory, and you just have this one item. And you can just fill this with bees. So if you're out on a long expedition, and uh, you're trying to avoid having your inventory completely stuffed with bees, if your backpack is the way to go. Okay, with the, uh, with the forest bees, that completes the overworld bees. Uh, there's nothing left to find uh, until we go to the, the nether at the end, so Let's, let's go back to the classroom and review what we've done so far. Alright, so uh, let's review the bees that we've got. I do believe that we have located all of the overworld bees. These are beehives that you can find in the regular world of Minecraft, meaning not the nether or the end. Uh, we found nine different species of bees. Uh, our first hive that we found here was the marble hive with the marble bees and they can be found in almost all of the biomes in the world so that's the easiest one to find next we found the swamp hive here with the uh, marshy bees and uh, those bees can be found uh, in the swamp biome next we found the desert bees with the, uh, which actually are the modest bees in the desert hive uh, that can be found in the desert biome of course uh, then we found the jungle hive with the tropical bees and uh, of course that's located in the jungle biome the water hive with the water bees, which was located in the ocean biome. Uh, we have the wintry bees, uh, which can be found in any of the biomes that have snow. Uh, and then we have the rocky bees, that are in the rocky hive. And those hives can be found underground in caves, uh, and they, I do believe they spawn all over the world, so another very common hive to find. Um, then we found the meadows bees, which is a uh, hive that you find in, I think, any biomes that have grass. Um, 
but they are they can be a little difficult to find. And then last, of course, is the the forest hive of the forest bees, which need to be found in the forest biome. So uh, that's it. I think we found here. Let's see here. Yes, nine different bees, and uh, now we're ready to get started with breeding. Uh, of course, we're going to build a few things first, but uh, that's for episode two. So uh, thank you for going through finding the highs with me, and uh, this is the end of episode one, and please uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.